Want these graphics in a set of Corsa? No problem! In this video I will show you an easy to follow step by step guide on how to elevate a set of Corsa to the next level. Let's go! In order to achieve these graphics in a set of Corsa we need to complete these 6 steps. I will leave a link to every mentioned website in the description down below and I just want to mention that two of the shown steps are only available with a Patreon subscription. You can pay for them once, however you won't receive the newest versions and bug fixes along the way. Alright, with that out of the way, let's begin by installing Content Manager. This is your main Assetto Corsa hub, which will allow you to complete the following steps very easily and install mods later on if you desire to do so. In order to install Content Manager, click the link in the description, scroll down and click on download directly. Once downloaded, extract your file and run the executable file. You will be greeted with this screen. Fill out these boxes and make sure to install the 7-zip plugin as well for easier mod installations later on. Simply hit OK and this screen should show up. If your three lines in the top right corner have a green up arrow, press them and click update. With Content Manager successfully installed, it's time to download the custom shaders patch. From the main page, click on settings, then custom shaders patch and press install custom shaders patch. Once downloaded, find the latest CSP version available and press it. That way you will be using the newest release required for the latest steps. The following add-on called Lights Patch Preview is paid and can be downloaded on the website linked in the description. It is an extension to the custom shaders patch we installed before but with a small but important feature. Rain. To install it, download the file on the Patreon website, extract it and simply drag it into the content manager's main page. The three lines in the top right hand corner will turn green, so click them, navigate down and hit install. The message may look a bit differently for you, but in all cases, just hit install and you're done. Now let's install the most important mod for an awesome looking Assetto Corsa. Pure. Pure is also paid, but it is absolutely worth it. To install it, press the link in the description, download the file, extract it, find the folder named Pure and the version like 0.271 for example, double click it, scroll down and hit the install Pure file. If a Windows pop-up like this shows up, just press more info and hit run anyway. Don't worry, this is absolutely safe. Now you need to find your Reset of Corsa root folder. Just follow the steps shown above. Once you found the Assetto Corsa folder, press it and hit OK. Wait a bit and once press any key to continue appears, hit any key. Done! Pure is successfully installed. Now we only need to install two more things. Sol and a PP filter. Sol is needed to set up your weather. Again, press the link in the description, download the file, extract it, Press the folder at the top, select every file except for the uninstall one at the bottom and drag the files into your Rosetto Corsa root folder. Click on replace files. An easy way to find your AC root folder is to go into Steam, then your library, right click on Assetto Corsa, manage and browse local files. Last but not least, we need to install a PP filter. This will give your Assetto Corsa the last final needed touch. Press the link in the description, download the file and extract it. Click on System, then CFG and PP Filters. Open your root folder and click through the same directory. System, CFG and PP Filters. Drag the file at the bottom into your root folder. Go to settings, click on Assetto Corsa and select the C13 Aegis PP filter you just installed. In order for everything to work properly, we need to verify a few things first. On the main page of Content Manager, make sure the weather is set to Sol. Now go to settings, click on Custom Shaders patch and make sure WeatherFX is active and select Pure for the weather style. From here, go to Assetto Corsa, click on Python apps and make sure all the boxes below here are ticked. When you launch an event now, your game should look very realistic. In order to change the weather, navigate to the right of your mouse, press the icon in the top right hand corner and from the menu select Sol Planner. 
Press the weather icon on the left once and here you can play around with the different weather presets and customize them. Right then guys, that is it from me today. I hope this tutorial helped you out and you can play Assetto Corsa in beautiful graphics now. Let me know if you have any questions and also comment what you mostly do in Assetto Corsa. Do you race, drift or maybe do something different? I am very curious. Consider subscribing to my channel, I'll catch you in the next one and until then, bye bye.